Hey guys! In today's video, I'm going to show you super cool art supplies and tools that I just recently discovered and wanted to share with you guys today so you can try them out as well. Everything that I mentioned in this video is linked in the description box down below. Also, don't forget to make sure notifications are turned on by clicking on the bell and by adjusting the settings because YouTube likes to change stuff and make it more difficult to stay up to date. And for a chance to get a shout out and to win arts and crafts supplies in my ongoing giveaway, comment down below hashtag mockification squad in the first 24 hours. The first thing I recently discovered are these erasable color pencils by Crayola. They are great for planning and sketching out future drawings because you can easily erase any mistakes or excess lines without overworking the paper, which can be the case with normal color pencils. For example, you can create light reflections, light in some areas until you're happy with your sketch. But you can also use them as a highlighter in your workbooks with the option of erasing the lines later. Speaking of highlighters, have you heard about highlighters that you can erase as well? You can simply add color to your notes and easily erase them. Make sure the ink and the paper are dry though before removing it or otherwise you might tear the paper. And if you're simply bored with the normal neon colored highlighters, you can try out the pastel colored versions. I know Stabilo and Faber Castell just recently launched pastel colored highlighters and they look super cute. They not only keep your notes super classy, but I also find that you can read the text more easily due to the lighter shades. They come in a ton of different colors, including these four colors, so you have a variety to choose from. And if you want to step up your bullet journal game and create spreads more quickly or just want to spice up your planners or notes in general, why not try out these plastic stencils made especially for that. They come in various shapes and sizes that can help you make your boring journal pages into colorfully organized layouts. You can create different setups and add cute details to your pages to make everything look more fun. Have you also heard about eraser shields? They are made to help you protect your drawings whenever you want to erase just a tiny detail without ruining your artwork. You can use it to finish straight lines and curves without smudging any pencil lines. For example, if you draw eyes and you already covered some areas with your pencil, instead of trying to carefully erase some light reflection around it while removing too much, you can simply place the eraser shield on top, press it down and erase the area to create a nice clean spot. And from here you can continue adding more details to your drawing. This tool might look a bit weird, but it's so versatile. By the way, you can also use the stencils I showed you earlier as eraser shields as well. Simply place it on top of any colored or drawn area and erase any shape you want. Here I used the Crayola pencils and the highlighters to demonstrate all the different options. So if you feel bored and want to make your planner look a little bit more interesting, why not experimenting with all these different tools? And to level up your erasing game, you can also use a battery eraser. I've seen it for the first time when my art teacher was using it and he was raving about it. You can quickly and easily erase any areas in your drawings without overworking or smudging your artwork. It comes with additional erasers so whenever you use it up, you can simply insert a new eraser inside and you are ready to go. The sound is a little bit loud but since you only use it for a very short period of time, I think it's not that bad. Another cool tool I accidentally discovered is this triangle ruler that you can use not only for measuring out things, but also to draw circles. That's right. It comes with a small hook that you can push down whenever you want to use the ruler as a compass to create circles in any size this ruler has to offer. Simply press down the hook, select the diameter you want the circle to be and carefully move your pen around it. It might take a bit to figure out how to properly hold it and use it, but afterwards you can use this tune one tool for so many art projects and not only for math. You can for example use it to create circles for a mandala and divide them accordingly. By the way, I have a video about how to draw mandalas that I will link in the description box down below and in the info card if you are interested to learn about that. In case you haven't watched my last art hack video, I want to introduce you to this awesome sharpener because it's that cool. The sharpener comes with 5 different settings. Each setting sharpens the pencil to a certain length depending on which setting you choose and how intricate the picture is that you want to draw without breaking the pencil or snapping the lead. This sharpener is great especially for color pencils because it won't waste any precious pencil lead while sharpening and you can draw even the tiniest details. Now we probably all heard about and have seen the so-called color wheel. But did you know that it's actually pretty helpful to have one at home? 
You can not only look at it to figure out how to create a certain color by mixing what with what and the amount of it, but it can also help you with color combinations by showing you exactly what color goes well with what. And it also helps you with avoiding muddy colors by visually reminding you where certain colors are in the color wheel. I would highly recommend to watch my video about how to avoid muddy colors if you haven't already because this little helper will come in handy. The last cool art supplies I wanted to share with you guys today is this cool stylus pen in the shape of a brush. That's right. If you don't want to use the pen nor your fingers for painting digitally, you can try out this stylus in the shape of a brush. Now it won't respond to different amounts of pressure, but it will give you a more realistic feeling when you paint on your tablet. To demonstrate how I use this brush, I'm going to use the app called Procreate that is available for iPads. I'm still pretty new to this program, but what I like using so far is the gouache brush to apply the different colors in the paper and the smudging tool with the same selected gouache brush to blend out the harsh lines to create a nice transition between the different shades. This brush is really great for art projects that don't require many details because the tip is quite thick so it's a little bit difficult to control when it comes to super small details. But it's so much more fun to apply the different colors, blend them, and just to play around with it instead of using a pen. You could use it to plan out watercolor, gouache, oil, and acrylic paintings until you're happy with the layout and the design. And later, if you want, you could go ahead and paint it onto the paper or the canvas. For small details, I would still go for the pen, but if you want to have a more realistic feeling when you paint on the screen instead of the usual feeling of scratching over a screen, this stylus brush pen is really great to have. I'm still testing it out so I don't know yet how long and how well it will perform throughout the time, but I thought I would just share this cool finding with you guys so you can look into it as well. A huge shout out to AJCA, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you're new here for a new video every week. And for more cool art supplies and hacks, check out the videos right here. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye!